This conference will now be recorded. Good morning, all. This is Fahy Hemsey. It's 8.30 a.m. on uh, August 20th, Friday, Friday OX. This is the slowest day of the summertime. So we decided to come back and do one of these. This is called a morning briefing. We do it, uh, we were doing it quite a bit earlier because my schedule was a little bit more inclined to accommodate these. They get posted here on our YouTube channel. It's got about 1,200 people on it, so they watch it, and uh, the hits are not bad, okay? That, the moment this is processed, it'll go there today, too, all right? So briefly, uh, a quick, quick, very quick housekeeping. The option packet is on fire. I mean, Admiral is killing it. We're going to explain to you quickly why. Uh, of course, I've had a few good uh, long and shorts there. Uh, I think we've had two. We, two, we stopped out of two trades. I'm sorry, three trades. We stopped out of three trades. Uh, we have had three trades open. The rest were winners. So, and, and we, have a, we have a little queue protection there for the summer. We've held on to it as, as our conviction. And that's that slightly down, I mainly stayed up. So, so HA is doing good. We just, first month coming back, okay? Um, so we restructured. Uh, I'll explain to you in a bit later. Uh, OTF is doing, uh, now it's got four rooms, three Zoom, one go to meeting. And uh, uh, I'll, I'll show you a couple of pictures there. Of course, the flagship is the ha happens to be Happy Expert uh, with, uh, now with the AI package in there. We are very, very excited. Here's the problem. We're time bankrupt. I mean, if you think I was time bankrupt before, now it's something else. So uh, V3 is not going anywhere. Thanks to uh, disclosures of our buddy, Edward Snowden, out of uh, Com Comrade Putin's uh, sanctuary in uh, Russia. Uh, he basically showed that NSA had a backdoor to SSLs. So when you get it, HTTPS up here, you see that S up there? Uh, it's not really safe. Yes, yes. They have a back door. So they came up with another routine called TLS. I actually hired the guy who wrote the TLS protocol to solve our issue on the, on the cloud, could not get there. I stopped, I, stopped I, I decided to abandon it. We're doing very well in the chat rooms on Zoom and on, the, well, not Zoom. Zoom is just protect the, giving the OTFs out. CL, ES, and then NQ. But the, the go-to me, meeting uh, and the chat room that we use for our, uh, what we call the DMZ plus ATR, uh, and that's where we're adding our AI information and protocols. Um, that's doing really well. That's really no click. You get in quickly, you get out quickly. It's just that, uh, and it's open eight to uh, from eight to five, eight in the morning Eastern to five p.m. And it's very robust. We have had a couple of trainings. We have another training coming up, and the reason is because we have to finish the the buy and sell. Once we get the buy and sell in there, you could see actually what the positions are. It runs it through. It shows no questions, no, no ambiguity, everything is there. Okay. Well, once we get a little bit closer, we're like in release alpha. Once we get closer to close to a beta, then we'll start the, another training session, but the training session, training session. I think it's more like uh, mid mid uh, September. I don't think we're gonna be before that. The the, the stick not work is fairly thick. And I have a couple of really, really good programmers, but it's not easy. Trust me. Um, and that puts us, uh, it would be after 9-11 anniversary. And it would be right smack in the middle of, I think, uh, Jewish high holidays. But it is what it is. So we'll move forward. Okay, let's get on with uh, our morning brief here. We start with, we start with always with econ, econ data, as you know, econ calendar. There's not much going on today. You can see Kaplan speaking at 11. Is a Dow thread, and we have always we have the red count. Uh, why? Because this is option expiration. Uh, it's OX in the, and so it's the slowest day in the summer. Uh, just quickly, what was of important? The red reports jobless claims yesterday. So it's not it's not news. It's old, but we're we're hitting three four eight. Moving average is beginning to. Uh, come down, tick down slowly. The trick is again is vaccination. I got my third shot yesterday because I do have psoriasis, so I got priority and uh, I got called in. And you know what? 
within 15, 20 minutes, I got my shot and I was good. I've been good. My problem is going to be maybe tonight I'm going to see. Last time was about 36 hours. I'm getting Pfizer. It seems to be the best one out there from what I'm hearing. Okay, the other one I wanted to bring up, this is the how the, the, the two things that were a problem today, this, the, the, this week. Re retail sales. That was that was uh, disappointing. Disappointing. Yeah, look at that. That was disappointing. The, the run rate is too high. One percent a month. That's too high. Okay. So, but remember, very very all these data is very very uh, noisy. You gotta put in some DSP on that uh, to filter it, to slow it down, and to uh, get get a trend correct. And then let's see what housing did on uh, Wednesday. Housing starts. Yeah. Okay, again, we missed there slightly. Okay, so on the annual rate, we're okay, but on the uh, I'm sorry, the whole annual rate, the starts we missed. Yeah, the permits are okay, on the starts we missed, so we'll see. I think the problem really came from the Fed on that day, not wasn't the starts. All right, so that's that. Next week, a lot of data. We'll make do another of these next week, we'll see. I don't think I can do more than one a week. I'm gonna get back on the salary of duty, but I can't do more than one a week. The other problem was that because we're doing some PMT stuff, PMT folks are getting upset. Like, hey, I'm not up that early. I wanna see my charts in the, uh, uh, on the website, not here. And uh, and then what if I get to y'all to uh, uh, go to meeting late? You know, not go to meeting, I'm sorry. Get to uh, YouTube, I'm sorry, why in my mind, yeah. YouTube late. And so uh, we decided, you know what? We're too busy. Let's just do what we're doing with the four chat rooms, and then we'll deal with that as, as, as needed. So I'll try to see what to do next week. Here's the thing. Um, and we have a Wednesday meeting on options. Yeah, there's a meeting on options going to be huge. But uh, but next week is important because we have, it's the fourth week. So we have a lot of data, the GDP, uh, and the LEI we just got, hold on. Uh, it's GDP, it's a uh, couple other stuff. This doesn't show it, but here's the fourth week. Uh, um, I think it's international trade. Um, uh, there, there are a number of them. Unfortunately, this only does one, one week at a time. So you, you know what I'm talking about. It's fourth week. We're going to have uh, something. You know, a couple of days are going to be important next week, bottom line. Okay. That's that. Third item, PMT. Good. Uh, and we've had a couple of more charts there. We're going to go over that too. Those are work done by Larry, Larry Research. Uh, uh, fellow over there, Paul Desmond. Some of you guys may know it. It's an old uh, uh, first, I mean, old part, I call it. Uh, I'm an old part myself. But, um, soon, whatever. Um, you know, time passes by when you're having fun, right? Uh, or if you're an afterburner all your life, time flies. Um, but yeah, Paul Dustman is a good fellow. I've run into him a few times. Spoke to my user group a couple of times in LA. Uh, they've done some work on Larry Research. I'm going to go over that with you very quickly. But first, our classical um, charts uh, sold pretty badly yesterday, but nice reversal. We got the on a bar fields on NASDAQ to a lesser extent on SPX. Uh, we are oversold, no question about it. Uh, short term, yeah, just refreshing to make sure. Of course, the, I'll put the chart in the morning, so these are refreshed. Negative 214, we're there, we're there, you know. Now, if they flush it today, then lights out, it, it would be excellent actually. Get rid of the week longs, and uh, uh, we know we, we, we put a long on a, on a PMT, didn't work. They took us out yesterday. Uh, it was a good time. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. It was we put a day before. We put a day before, and they took us out day, uh, yesterday. No, no. Hold on. We put on Tuesday. They took. Uh, they they run our stop on uh, on Wednesday. It was a little bit of a tight stop. I understand that 44.20. Uh, and then I'll uh, explain why. But yesterday was a reversal. Uh, I may put one on again late today. We'll see. Uh, uh, but we will see how uh, uh, pinned we're going to be. By pinning, I mean because it's expiration. Uh, the the big names in the 
like Fang, there'll be ten based on OI, may not go anywhere. But we'll, we'll give us a sense there where we are. But right now, as we stand, it's fairly decent flush. Okay. Look at the births, birth, uh, birth drops. We haven't had this in a long time. Last time we hit here was here, which was on uh, 719. I remember that day. I remember that day very well. We covered that night. I remember our shorts. Our mistake was that I didn't kick in here. I'll explain that to you in a second. Okay. Uh, am I done here with timer? Boom, boom, boom. We'll come up here for two. That's not a trigger yet, but we're close. Um, Pressure on transportation. Yeah, this is not good. And huge pressure on Russell Russell 200. NASDAQ is going to have a hard trouble going up if we're hitting these levels. We got to get uh, the, the, the 200, the bounce off of 200 day. We're, unfortunately, we're below that. You can see what CI is doing. The green is lit, so we're close. Okay. Remember, this stuff will show you what's around the bend. I don't know if you've driven on Highway 1 in California. You have a lot of uh, hills next to you, not mountains, but hills on the shore side. Well, the other side is water, but there are turns coming, and you've got to be careful because you want to look at the ocean, you want to look at the boats and all that, but you have a turn coming, and you don't know what's around the turn. This is what this does for us. It gives us that preview. You could actually see what the changes in CI where that was that was causing it. Okay. Here's our DTD trend there. Okay. Again. 200 day violated on Russell. This is not good for NASDAQ. Of course, there's a lot of cross fronts there. There's a lot of legal issues also. Look what they're after with the Google and uh, uh, Facebook now. So uh, little by little, we'll see if those will firm up or will go away. Uh, this the signal this was giving is working. We can see that. The transportation, if you look at transportation, look what it made the high. Okay, classical, classical. We made a high, and while others are making new highs, transportation isn't. Okay. Oil hasn't been that expensive actually. Oil retreat, it retreated somewhat, but still, you can't go anywhere on SPX without transportation. You can't go anywhere with NDX without Russell. That's just that's a given. It worked for the last 15 years for me. The fellow who taught me that, I mean, that at all, I really changed my market time. So. I urge you, I urge you keep an eye on it. Okay. S31W, okay. Uh, we have a sale that went in yesterday. I'm sorry. Yes. It triggered on Wednesday, entered on Thursday on a sale on a, on a short term, either the daily. The weekly is uh, uh, doesn't budge. Still a bull market to, to it based on the you know, Friday closes. All right. We, we crossed on SP1, we crossed 0.6 right there, right there. We crossed 0.6, we're above negative 1. The scale doesn't matter, don't worry about the scale. Momo, the smaller, the shorter uh, term, uh, brethren, is negative 4 or 5, not near a bounce. I think we're going to push down here today. And that will be a perfect, perfect a three, day, three days in a row. Uh, and then we're getting in a flush, I will be buying Monday morning first hour. Okay, if that's the case. So we're gonna watch this afternoon. Um, I've done really, really well this week, especially yesterday. So I may trade just a very little bit today, just to entertain the room and you know, be have a skin again. Have a skin again, not anything. You know what I'm talking about. You gotta be in the you gotta be in the trenches uh, so that you could you you. So my my comments to you are meaningful. They're they're usable. They're actionable. I can't just sit back and say I think it's a good. It's gonna be a Update today. That just means nothing. That means absolutely zero. Um, I used to work, try to work on that. No, you gotta, you gotta go in there and see how the 15 minute, the 30 minute, the 60 minutes are working out and why. Okay. All right. Next moves. Okay. 50, no signal here. 52 weeks set high and lows on SP. No signal. Why? Last big signal was here. Usually that's commensurate with a sell uh, month, two months, three months forward, has not materialized yet. Okay. Part of it is free cash. We're giving cash away like there's no tomorrow. This Washington has got to wake up. You can't print this much cash. Somebody's got to pay this one day. We haven't so far. But one day that may come, and they're going to be rude awakening. The 10-year won't be at 1.22. 
I've got news for you. I'm not a bomb guy, but you know, common sense. Holy mackerel. And we have an event here again. There you go. You see that uh, what we call the uh, shock waves, the shock, the Wix shock waves are coming through. Okay. By the way, I also urge you to take a look at Ticket Strike. They have a new package. We installed it, we're using it. We didn't like the alpha, it had some issues. Now they're getting out of alpha, getting to beta. Those of you in the chat rooms, you know that. Those are the boxes on top that would trigger. It's a third party software we use. And we've urged them to bring the price down. So uh, so for average person out there, it's also feasible. Uh, I think they're, they're done both. What they're missing is the VIX futures. That's why I bring that up. So that, that would be helpful once they get that installed. Okay. Uh, now, the VIX went through four signal. Look at that, right there. Four, the dash line is four signal. On Wednesday, hello. Right, Alex, remember that? Hello. Because sometimes Alex would miss things and we had to wake him up. Example. Okay, SQ says, uh, I gave you a signal at 170, all time high. And I'm not done with you. That's basically what it says. Yeah. In, in, in June of June 25th. I wrote about this. There's a lot on Twitter. There's a lot of people actually questioning. We entertain that. We, we try to respond to the best I can. I don't have a, uh, a crystal ball. There are a few left on eBay. If I were you, I would go grab one. But they are not new. There says like new, slightly used. That's what those crystal balls are. Okay. Uh, here's the problem. We got another signal here, both in terms of severity. Which is two signal, two sigma plus. That's three, almost three sigma. And value being 160. If you look at the odds, actually they don't even publish the odds. When you get up here, the move, the chance of a move down is very heavy. Now, one more seasonal issue that I want you to think about. Just think about, okay? Uh, if we have four months of up move, we had actually six sorry, from the right before the election. Look at what happened in November, December. But start with January, every calendar year. Four months of our moves. January, February, March, and April. The next eight months have this seasonality. Month five and six, that's May and June, uh, move down. Okay, we, we saw that. Now, this is the part we don't see. Month July, uh, seventh and eighth, which is July and August. A slightly moved to the sideways. We have not done that. We've gone up actually. We made new eyes. And then severe pressures in September and October. That's what we're entering into. And then you buy Halloween. You buy the Halloween, close your eyes, hold on your nose, and you just sit back, you know, just 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 uh, you know, drink more tea, and you're gonna have a very good November, December. That's the seasonality. It doesn't have to prove that way, but that's what the odds are. So keep that in mind. Not my work, no. It's third party research. Yeah. I selectively listen to third party research and take it with a grain of salt. It added to my indicators. Why? My indicators have done well. Look at the time of digest. The, yeah, the proof is in the pudding. You know, 10 years, rack number one. There's something is working right. But it doesn't, it doesn't mean that I cannot listen to others. I have to take a look with the context. I gotta understand it. Student of Malkia. I gotta understand the inside of the indicator, understand the structure. Once I get that, then, then I can adopt it. I'll get to that in a second what we did. But here's now is live. This is US. Remember, next week, no. Next week, no. Here. On the ninth, we're gonna roll over to December for the the, the these uh, contract for yes and uh, thank you. Uh, because of OTF, we're gonna roll on the 10th. So our go-to meeting also is going to move through that uses uh, three minutes and five minute charts. Those are going to go on the 10th also, not before. Okay, and hopefully, right by then we will have this uh, AI package ready, and we're close. We're very close. The problem is the state of work it keeps going. Uh, all right, we're on V contract here. Let me get rid of that. Uh, you, I'm sorry, you, you contract is history. Yeah, look at the other. Uh, there we go. All right, so. Uh, uh, by the way, I've contacted uh, this this chart. The explanation of this chart, okay, was used to be posted here. You click on that, it, it gets lost. 
All right. So I've been in touch with uh, CBO uh, Options Institute. They're trying to restore the old time. It should be gone. It should be popping there. All right. They're going to restore. They're going to bring up a lot of those uh, uh, old blog posts uh, back. That blog post was the at highest single article hit in the history of CBO. Not because I wrote it. No, they reported that to me. After a while, they said, oh, what the hell is this? I said, I don't know how much you read it. It would help if you read. And these are option guys. These are posted. They're helping out. They put, read the, what, what the damn thing says. Learn something. Move forward. Get better. We have to improve every day. Learning never stops. None of us have the final answer. We can learn from each other, collaborate, and move forward. All right, we're at 5.5. The spread, now, let's see. What are we doing on a, oh, Q is gone. So we're on U contract. Okay, let me update this. Sorry, this is a day or two behind. One second. Because of a rollover, yeah. Uh, it takes a second to get to a rollover. We're going to be out of August. We're going to be in a set contract at the lead. There's no there's no price. There's no trade. Okay, and this this becomes obviously this these itself. Okay, we compute. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's where we left the case scale was a little too big. Yeah, that's where we are now. 1.17. Okay. Now this can be a little jerky here because of our roll. Uh, we rolled over there on that. Uh, of course, it was a push down on the uh, uh, Q is gone. Right? Q is gone. So we take that out. Uh, VX X21. That's November. VXZ21. That's December. So we're long, long U21 short. Z. Not the actual trade, but theoretical. And we're at 1.12. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, we did not exactly get to zero, so we haven't seen the money. Technically, what this says, based on historical data, we have not seen the low yet. Yeah, this should be get to zero. A little bit above zero. It's not there. Uh, it hit three, sig three sigma plus. So let me do this one. Uh, let me do it like this. Or what, what did we hit? We hit seven five. Yeah, it's not zero yet. Once you get to zero at the bottom, okay, and it's rising, so it's going to drop. It's going to make another push. So here's what we're going to ask ourselves: What's the catalyst? What's going to happen in a week or two that could be there? Or we're looking at September. Once we get into September, now we're looking at that seasonality. Okay, the rules change, or or the actually not the rules, but the uh. Yeah, um, uh, I forgot. There's a word for it. Uh, goalposts. The goalposts uh, have changed because now you're looking at it in September. By the way, no cigars, no coffee. I've never felt so alive. And the problem is I'm too scary. I can't fall asleep. I'm, I'm really too alert now. Alex, be careful. <laughs> All right. Yields. Holy macro. Talk about the Fed. Uh, this is today, remember. This is live. This is today. So this is a this is a minutes. This is the minutes. And uh, oh boy. Okay. 1.23 that last on the 10 year and 18. So you got you got the short term between banks. You got cars, mortgages, pension funds. So look at so consumers of this. Product, these yields, right? These are all YTM, yield to maturity. Okay. Um, okay, now, here's what we're going to add. Two more charts there. Let me put this in that realm there. Okay. These are from Lowry. This is some work I did recently, last few months, side by side a little bit, and we started to uh, formalize it. Uh, I owe this to Bo. Uh, Natvik, one of our members here at o o OTF, his local guy. We did a couple of lunches. The problem is that we did not get a chance to have lunch on the 19th, and we've been talking about it all this time. I didn't understand the code well. I want to go and review it, and we sent things back and forth, but we never got it there. He's not a good program. I'm actually, he's not a programmer, I should say. He's a really good uh, trader. And uh, uh, look where the low was. It was that night. We had lunch on Tuesday. We should have had lunch on 
Monday that day. Why? Look at the reading. We hit negative 90 and went up to hit 90 plus 90 the next day. This is work by Lauer Research. Uh, Paul does as a president there. If you look at Sentiment Trader, this he also confirmed it that day. I put it on Twitter. We said, listen, this has not happened in a in, uh, number of years. Uh, every time it has, market is going to be extreme, extremely higher six months forward. Doesn't mean we're not going to have shakes, but we're going to be within the channel and we're going to make new highs. Again, the question becomes what's the catalyst? Okay. It's going to be, is it going to be more and more of these free money they're giving away? That's dangerous. You can't keep waiting it forever. That's a very artificial uh, market. It will, the, we, you know, the, 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 the sky will come down and meet reality. You just cannot keep pushing it up. But that was that signal. So here's where we are. Now, I prefer to do this intraday on like 60 minutes. So I, I see the development throughout the day where we are. We haven't opened yet. This is a uh, uh, cash market only. But you can see it for uh, SVX. I've been talking about this, these readings. And it is very close to what we were doing here. But this was a ratio of up and down. What this one does is a different type of ratio. This is a ratio of up versus down. Ver I mean, up or down, up or down, up or down versus total volume. Okay, so the quotient is a little bit different. And the rule does 90, get 90%. You can't go over 100, so you have to draw a line. Now, one of the things that Larry talks about, or I should say Paul Desmond talks about, they have a Larry research. If you get two, this was 87 at, at, at the open. And then look how low we got here. This became 84. If you get 80% or lower reading on a negative side, back to back, is as if you had a 190%. So that means you're going to have a decent, decent bounce. That hasn't materialized yet. But we also have the, the part of it was the Fed, part of it is the expiration. As you know, on Wednesdays, we take the reverse of the prevailing trend that usually happens why they want to make those calls or puts uh go worthless and then we reverse it one more time into expiration which is now and we are negative four right down the s and plus 19 on mq so so far we're on, we're on the correct train we're on the right we're on the right we got the right to uh uh uh, uh what do you call it the uh, track when the right train is moving that way Okay. So throughout the day, I do post it at Times Alex uh, on Twitter uh, once or twice a day. I don't get a chance more than that. Sorry, we're just too busy. But as a courtesy, uh, I do that a uh, uh, couple of times there. Let me shrink this a little bit more. Uh, usually after the close, for sure. Usually I'm posting against Bo because he's good at at writing it too. So hold on, let me shrink this. There we go. Okay. Because it's side by side. Okay. Again, Sigma channels and 20 and 50 and 200 bar. Again, this is hourly right now, but I have it like that. This is what I use. Now, one more thing. Larry, in, in pursuit of that, one of my guys here, which is our current uh, moderator, and he is fantastic. Uh, you got to see this guy, uh, uh, Peter Cook. I mean, he has given such a fresh. Uh, He's a, he's a young Turk, he's in his 30s, he trades really well, process engineer, uh, he understands, uh, he, he's in language, he programs a little bit, but he's also, uh, um, he reads the charts, oh, he sees the chart like you won't believe, he's got a lot of promise, I'm telling you. Um, Peter Cook, is out of Tampa here, and uh, uh, this is something that he sent me to take a look at, this is the buying power, and look what the buying power is doing right now. And we, we're doing it on four uh, assets. ES, uh, this is the mid, mid caps. Russell, we, there's no such a thing as transportation. I wish there was. There's no transportation futures. I wish there was, but there's RTY and then uh, NQ. This is a strategy. Okay, it's running a strategy, and you can see long and short. Look where it went short on NQ. Okay. Look where it went short on uh, ES. Of course, we've had this short issue uh, reversal too long, 
Uh, and then it, it got kicked, kicked. Got his ass kicked. Put it too short again. This is a SAR. There's no money management risk. There's no there is SAR is stock on reverse. There is no uh, tool there that says uh, wh where my stuff is. It's just goes from one level to other. Fear to greed. Fear to greed. Okay. So it's not a trading system. It's just it's a model. It's a trick. It's a timing model to give you a feedback. Now, beauty of uh, this is the input is not just price. The input is what's behind it. And these are built by trade station. This, 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 this uh, value com uh, composites are just incredible. Uh, they're built for different markets. And trade station has it. It's one of the creative work that trade station has done. And that was the difficult part on the when, when Larry first proposed this, was how do you compute that? Trace engine's done that in the background. Yes, so it's been amazing. So again, it's a buying power index. I have posted this once or twice, much easier for people to, much difficult for people to understand it. So I've refrained that from doing in open Twitter mode. I'd rather have it here, take some questions and that kind of stuff, okay? Let's see, that's, that's our PMT. So what's our bias? Uh, we're cautiously optimistic for a bounce. Uh, we look for uh, uh, as a bottom line. We need for a catalyst. Uh, it's a it's a uh, volume is going to be low. It's uh, exp Friday exp expiration in August. Very slow. Um, it's and uh, we broke the three day rule, even though it's still uh, we traded in a lower area, but we do need a flush, and that's dictated by volume. We're not there yet. Uh, I really want to see a uh, uh, dip below 90. Just dip below 90, even intraday. Uh, I'm putting another PFT trade on alongside. Why? Rubber band. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the problem was not, uh, the problem was actually uh, Jerry Powell. Yeah. Yesterday was gone. We were flat yesterday. The problem was this this last board of Wednesday that, uh, uh, not last board, sorry, sorry. It was uh, this board. Yeah, or was it? Yes, it was in the two o'clock to three o'clock issue. Yeah, this is when it started because remember, this is the end of the bar. Okay, the time is stamped on, on uh, the trade is the end of the bar. So between two and three, things got unraveled on Wednesday. And of course, we, we, we were stopped out. We wait. I didn't jump in. I wanted to dust tell. Uh, and then uh, we'll see how today does. So if you're in PMT or PMT Pro, we are on alert. We may make a comment. We're like at alert five, which means five minutes to take off. That means you have five minutes to be ready at your desk because the email will come. And remember, on Twitter, I mean, on, I'm sorry, on, on PMT, you have two emails you got to get. One, they're both from Admiral Tico, they're not from me, from higher up, because it's smarter than I am. Admiral Tico will give you two emails. One, again, this is crucial. One, let's give you an example really quickly. This is being recorded. This is good. Admiral Tico. As you could see, there you go. Uh, he's got his own uh, email. There you go. And he's going to send you. Uh, 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 here's, here's your setup. It says log in and see what the trade is. If you don't have his picture, it came from Ruskies. Probably came from Comrade Putin. Uh, it's not from us. This is authentication. Okay. And then, listen, and then watch for his launch command. If you get the launch command, oh, oh there we go. Huh? Why is it? Why is it doing that for us? Oh no, dude. Hold on. Close the sense. Close the sense. Okay. Here's the launch command. Uh, there. We go. Again, this picture, different picture. You get that. You're good to go. And you're looking for this. Execute. Execute. If you don't see this command, you're not ready to go. We'll show you what the trade is. You go to take a look at it. You set up. Why? Because some things could change. And what the chart is doing. We want to do is put the chart trade up, okay, and then look at the chart to fine tune the entry, okay, uh, and using a shorter bar interval. So that's that's what you want. All right. Anything else? Overnight, okay. What did we do overnight? And then I'll give you a little glimpse of what we're doing in there. All right. This is overnight. Uh, There's all night, okay. Thirty minutes, simple. Bollinger, I mean, stigma channels, Bollinger band, whatever you want to call it, up to. Four sigma if needed. I don't think we're going to see that. Usually three sigma, but we're down. We're un unchanged here on the ES and 30. 
Again, this is run today by uh, uh, the SIBO guys, because it's an option expansion. It's, it's driven by OI, open interest. It's not magic. You can just download it, the SPX uh, or NDX last day last night, get the OI market. That's where we're going to go in the first hour. So it's going to be a little bit manipulated. So I would be careful first hour. Okay. Uh, give you a, pre, a quick v review of what we've done on the uh, 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 what do you call it? on the on the three minutes and five minutes of the OTR room. You can see what's happening there. These are these bars are painted as conditions change. There's a lot of AI in there, and what we're going to be adding shortly to this is an actual buy and sell. Not just take the signal, but actually enter into a simulator, and there will be a little box here that shows what the position is, uh, what's the stop, and so on and so forth. We're almost there. We're almost there. And live, live. And hey, listen, doesn't need Milo, doesn't need vacation. Uh, uh, the, the wife didn't talk to him bad the night before. None of that. It's a machine. It's not going to make huge, huge wins. Okay? Because it's a little bit cautious. It's got rules. It's not, but it has no emotions. It's not going to go after a bad trade and try to make it, fix it that day. No, they'll try to get, find the next trade to go in unemotionally. Uh, but the, the losses are very, very mitigated. Okay? And the winds are very moderate to good, but they're not excellent. Why? It's not a human being there. It's a machine. Okay. And it's a breath of pressure. Because sometimes I, I admit it myself, I get going there like with vengeance. What do you mean you take this from me? I'm going to come after you. Wait a second, Brad. I can't let them work like that. Calm down. Okay, no. It's called maturity. We're learning slowly. Yeah, after 20 years, it's time to learn. Yeah. Well, has not been easy, but you're going to have to also, you see, you should. You also have to have the tools to be able to get there. What trade is an offering now in trade season 10 is a whole slew of uh, uh, subroutines uh, that were, starts with the word AI. Yeah. They have some, it's primitive. It's not very fancy. It's not a quantum computer with an AI uh, 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 PhD sitting there. No. But programming, you no. Know. But it's enough to, and I've got a very good one, to figure out what these logics mean and why these colors should change and uh, so on so forth. Uh, folks have been tra training this thing for uh, a, a, a slower version or a simple version of it. Let me go here. It's like this one. They've been training this part, which, by the way, this is what we're using for our option package. Here's the option package. This, this whole stuff here, okay, that gives us the buy and sells we have. Why are we killing it like that? Because of the algorithm. Now, we, and the same, look at this, same file name. It's the same file. PCM is a font, by the way. That's all. But these are not released. These are. All the happy stuff is released by PCM. Uh, I can't have you guys compete with my font. It's not going to work. Okay. I'm not interested for a few bucks of subscription to, for you to compete with me. Not going to happen. But uh, they've been using this in some form. Uh, the, the, the buy and sell is not there yet. But we've got the components in there. What you started first is indicator. You've got to be the indicator first. So you is working fine, then you you and you got all your layers in, then you just add what they call it. You change the plot commands to buy and sell commands, and then uh, then you have the and then you add the extra layer for your stop. Boom. Or right, stop. We have one exit and three entries in this system. Three distinct entries, because we have a different pattern. Remember, it's all pattern recognition. And then one exit. Why? Because we know where the targets are supposed to be. We're looking for MBS, VBAP, DMZ, and ATRs. That combination gives us the best we can, three exits. Why? It's not what you make, it's what you retain. Okay, that's why I spill. Uh, go out there, make it make it a good day today. Be easy, be easy on yourself. It's gonna be a slow day. Afternoon will be very uh, uh, slow. I will be looking, I'll take a lunch time off. I will be, remember, I just also got my third shot uh, for Pfizer. So I'm going to take a little bit easy, but I have no reaction yet. Uh, lunch, I will take time off. I will work, I will trade a little bit in the morning. I had an excellent, excellent, excellent day yesterday, which is surprised me also. Uh, and what I will do is I, I concentrate on one account only, and it was amazing. So I'm going to take a little bit easy today. Uh, around 2 o'clock, 2.30, I'll start looking for a PMT trade. And then I'd say it's a chance is like 30, 70. 
30% to go, depending where the market is, where I think it's going to go. And then 70% no go, because we also have the weekends. Okay. And then uh, uh, if we flush down at the close, which I really like to see that, uh, I'm still going to stay long, stay long, but not, don't have a trade in on the, on the uh, uh, PMT. Uh, but I would be interested to buy the Monday uh, first hour. Somewhere in the first hour, maybe top of the hour of Monday, then that's what I'm going to get in. And uh, but, uh, so I would prepare a trade for this afternoon. If it does, I'll have to just change the strikes and price. If it doesn't happen the way I want, I'll wait for Monday. What's the rush? I'm not going to rush. Yeah. You got to be patient. As Admiral Tico says, the whole nine pounds of him says, drink Persian tea and read some Rumi. That's how you find the right trade. It's not the indicators. Anyhow, back to you guys. Thank you for attending. Any questions, you can email us. I'm closing this, folks. I'm opening the other uh, go to meeting for the, our uh, normal sessions. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a great weekend.